Hello everybody, how y'all doing? Film Master here. So yesterday, you know, forgive me, I'm a little late, but yesterday, mid-season notes came out and I am really happy and kind of skeptical about a couple of things. I know, like I said, I'm late. So I understand that if y'all have seen them somewhere else on another YouTube or something like that, please stick by and listen to what I have to say because I want to give you my opinion and I don't know if my opinion matters to you or not, but I hope it does. So let's just scan through these guys. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time. I just want to talk about them. And then, of course, if you haven't heard about the midseason notes and what they're going to change in Rainbow Six Siege, I want to bring that news to you. So as you can see right here, it came out yesterday at 12 p.m. So today's, of course, you can see the date down here. So it's time I'm making this video. Um... This is just them saying that you can go ahead and ask your questions on our subreddit at this time. Um, right here, this is really interesting. So, of course, this is on PC. That and Diamond, they don't do anything. They don't record any data from like gold, silvers, bronze, none of that. Just platinum and diamond. And this is showing you right here, it's the pick rate. So you can see that Ash just picks 70% of the time. And this is the win rate. So you can see that Finca's really high on the win rate, even though she's not picked too often. But when she is picked, she's winning. <laughs> so that's just a little neat thing. You can just see how what operators are used the most, which of course are these. Lion's up there, and he's, of course, we know Lion. He's just a new operator that got introduced with year three, season one. So people are loving Lion, not Finca too much, but Finca does have a really high win rate. So down here is Defenders. Oh, wait, wait, let's just make fun of Jackal. Even though I feel like Jackal is used quite a bit on Pro League. Anyways, let's make fun of him and Monting and Capitan because they're the three losers of the bunch because they're never picked. Anyways, so down here we have Cavi and look at the Chanka. Oh, Tachanka and Castle. I'm really, I heard during the six Invitational when EG was going against Penta for the big old sledgehammer, I heard that they were going to do something to Castle. So I am really looking forward to seeing what they're going to do with Castle. They said maybe something that they're going to change what can break Castle, what cannot break Castle. So hopefully they do something because I feel like Castle could be very, very useful. If not every single player could break his barricade. I mean, almost everybody can break it. Grenades, hitting it, um, sledge, breach charges, everything. Everything can break castles. So he's kind of useless at the moment. That's why he has such a low pick rate and also a win rate. If you see Vidro up here, which is one of the ones we're going to be talking about in a little bit. He has a very, very high pick rate. And he has a very, very high win percentage. So... Ella's calmed down since last season. She was kind of over here. So you know that she's actually, her nerf did help the community even out the playing field a little bit. I'm actually really glad with Ella. Pengu's not glad, or I don't want to throw any names out there, but a lot of people aren't glad with what's happening to Ella. They feel like they nerfed her too much. They really don't like the fact that they took her impacts away, but... I'm not an Ella main and I don't play pro league and I am barely started playing PC. So I, I can't say I don't even have Ella in my arsenal to be able to play on PC. That's how new I am to PC. But anyways, let's go right here to the upcoming changes lion. So if you want to scroll back up here real fast, you see that lion has such a really high pick rate and a win rate. So let's go ahead and see what they're going to do to him. Our, indicate, our data indicates that Lion is currently too strong. He is close to 100% pick rate in Pro League, and his win um, delta is too high and ranked as well. We have observed feedback and start and stating that he was not fun to play against. He is... I'm sorry, I'm just getting my tongue twisted a lot. <laughs> he is not too fun to play against. I mean... How do I say this? I feel like... Lions wall hacks are really overpowered and I'm really glad they're going to be doing something about it. But um, 
this is what they're gonna do. So if detected and a player stops moving, the outline, outline will no longer appear. Attackers may know where you are, but you will be able to change your stance without them knowing. So this is huge, guys. This is this is game changing. Like Lion is probably still gonna have a big pick rate in Pro League, but he is not gonna get a free kill. Like, okay, Lion scan goes on for three seconds or five seconds. I'm not sure. But if you move at all, in the matter of those couple of seconds, you're outlined for three to five seconds. I'm sorry, I should know, but I don't know. Um, this is how it is right now. You, you're outlined for those whole seconds, no matter if you stop moving, you crouch, you see that you're crouched, you're laying down, you see that you're laying down. So I really like this. So as long as, like if you move a little bit and you stop, you can go prone and crouch and go prone and crouch and they won't know. But they can't get an easy headshot on you. So that's going to be really big. Um, so that's just talking about that. This is the first step to give defenders more options to counterplay against lions. Detection. We are still looking into improving how lions detection works. And your feedback will help us get better idea to, of how to proceed. Um, if detected very briefly, it will be more difficult for attackers to locate your position. It's... I honestly feel like people still are not going to be happy with this. I feel like people... And I don't know, I might not be happy with it. But right now, I know it's way overpowered. But I feel like, okay, so Lion tracks you through a wall. His whole team can see that you moved that little second. Let's say someone's right on the other side of the wall. They're still going to get the kill because they're going to spray up and down and they're going to end up getting you. But um, that's good. Like if you're across the map and you move by accident, it says player scan or whatever it says and then you're going to be done like you're, it's done they don't like by the time they turned around i'm hoping that the outline would be will be gone but we won't know until it comes out um scan charges and cooldown we're still talking about lying here we were re reducing the number of charges from three to two so at the moment he can use his ability three times but now he will only be able to use it twice so I think that's really going to be good. I feel like three is a little, honestly, I feel like three ain't a lot. And a lot of people are going to disagree with me. I'm not in high competitive play. I hope to be one day, but at the moment I'm still trying to just learn the controls on the PC. But honestly, I feel like three ain't a big deal. But again, I'm just an amateur player. Um, and the increased cooldown between each charge is from 10 to 20 seconds. So that's self-explanatory. Every time he pops it, once it's done, you got to wait 20 seconds instead of 10 seconds, which it's, it's going to affect the game. I mean, all these little changes, changing it from three to two, which ain't a little change. That's a big change. And this is a big change as well, but they're all going to play a big factor in what's going to happen in the, the rest of the season. So um, we want to force players to make more careful choices when they use when they want to trigger lion scan. Players are currently able to chain the scans too much during critical moments. That is really true. When you plant a bomb, pop it, pop it, pop it. I mean, shoot. I mean, you'll never be able to get to the bomb. Like by the time you actually f are able to even look for lion to kill him because he's probably watching bomb or diffuser. He's probably watching diffuser while it's ticking away. By the time you actually even get to look for Lion to kill him so you can go back to the bomb, you're not going to have any time left. So that is really true. Jaeger. This is big, and I see this a lot in Pro League. I see this a lot in Diamond Players. Um, I watch a lot of Twitch, so I see this used a lot. So um, Jaeger's Magpies. hope I said that right. I don't know why I always called them ADSs. I don't know. Will no longer destroy Habanas ex Cairo pellets. So when you wanted to get rid of a Jaeger charge, you would have Habana come. Hey, Habana, shoot your ex Cairo pellets through the window. Shoots through the window, sucks up three of them, that Jaeger's done. So that really affected Jaeger. Jaeger really, I believe, probably went down. This ain't a stat of any source. This is just off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure his stats went down as soon as they introduced Habana, as soon as the first person realized, hey, I can burn out an ADS with one Habana charge instead of using all my stuns or all my flashes to get 
or that's the same thing, all my stuns and all my smokes to burn out the ADS. Um, we have disabled this interaction so she cannot deny Jaeger's manpie system so efficiently. So, and of course they kind of talk about it right here, but I kind of gave you that random, but I like this. I, I really do like this. I play Jaeger a lot and I freaking hate it when a Habana shoots her ex Kairos because she has nothing better to do with them. She shoots up through the freaking window and burns out my ADS or magpies. So next we are going to be talking about Blitz. Uh, we are looking for ways to make Blitz more fun to play without making him so frustrating to play against. As such, Blitz right here. Blitz shield flash range is being reduced from eight meters to five meters. He will also have fewer charges from five to four. That's not going to make a difference. It's not. They changed him from a one speed to a two speed. So he's running around like a freaking maniac with a shield. Changing it from eight meters to five meters is not going to change anything. I personally don't think it is. I mean, Blitz can get up to you so fast. Those three meters ain't going to make a difference. Blitz can literally just sprint to you, flash you. Like most of the time when he flashes me, he's within two meters. Like he's so freaking close. Like I'm trying to shoot his feet before I know it. He freaking knifes me. Like it's not going to change anything. A fight of force, not going to change anything. Um, do your three season one blitz change has brought his pick rate closer to his average, but his wind Delta remains too high. Of course it does. Of course, Ubisoft, of course. Reducing his flashing, flashing power is the first step in that direction. We are looking into ways to, del to give defenders more options to counter him at melee range. That's really interesting. We are looking into, right here, we are looking into ways to give defenders more options to counter him at melee range. Melee, melee, not gonna get into that argument, but this will take some more time. Dang, that kind of makes me think like what? What do they plan on doing? Like, that's interesting. I, I, I just noticed that and I've read through these, but I, I guess I kind of skimmed through them and that's, that's huge. I'm interested to see what this is. I, they, they did nothing to Blitz. Blitz is still going to be overpowered. Um, Vigil, I freaking love this one. So I love Vigil. I don't have them currently on PC because I just bought the starter edition and I am grinding it out because that's not going to be my main account. I'm just using it to get used to playing on PC. So I didn't, I didn't spend a lot of money. I spent 15 bucks and I don't have Vigil yet, but on PlayStation 4, I would like to say that I play Vigil more than 50% of the time on defense. And I loved him because... You can burn so much time and they don't know where you're at because they can't drone you. It makes them face check. And when someone has to face check, you have the advantage because you hear them coming. So I loved him because I was almost a vigil main on PlayStation 4, but I feel like it's a good move. I feel like they they made a they made a right change here on Vigil's part. So let's let's take a look at it. We are altering how players use the Electronical Rendering Cloak. It will not deplete its charge in 12 seconds instead of 30 seconds. That's huge, guys. That's 18 seconds. That's not even half. I, I figured they would cut it in half, but they didn't. They went one step further, and they actually cut it by 18. So that, that's a huge cut that they did. It will now refill in half the time from 12 seconds to 6 seconds. So this is... They made up for it by the... By the refill time, I understand that, but I, I think it's a good move overall. I, I, I can't, I won't know until I use it. I won't know until I feel like 12 seconds is just going to feel so fast. It's going to make you, it's going to make you really think about how you use, use this vid or how you use the cloaking device. It's really going to make you think about that. So, um, following the nerf to Ella, Vigil has risen to the top of the pack and has become one of the strongest roamers in the game. This change will help Vigil's players resource manage or will challenge Vigil's players resource management and require more skif skillful use of their main to remain effective. We plan to keep an eye on his loadout weapons in particular moving forward. This <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. Like his weapon loadout is so good. Like SMG 11 on sledge and 
smoke and all it's it's freaking it rips people rips people and then the sc um sm smg 12 has double like two and a half times the magazine of the smg 11 yeah the recoil is a little bit like a lot more than the smg 11 to my like what i think it is i haven't played it on pc so i can't say if it's real controllable on pc but it shreds people like shreds them and then you also have the k1 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 not sure what it's called but that's a really good gun as well his primary so you got the boss 12g um i don't ever play with that one to be honest so i can't say if it's a good gun i mean it's like a sniper rifle but you get two shots so i don't think they're talking about that one i think they're talking about his the other primary and the smg 12. i i feel like they're gonna nerf him if he's still really strong after this they're gonna end up nerfing his loadout um habana will be losing her claymore and receiving a breaching charge i like this because habana Bana has a beast of a secondary. She can destroy hard walls. She's a hard wall destructor. Hard wall destructor. <laughs> and she has a claymore. So, like, you can't even run out on, on her. You can't. You can't. But I, I think this is a good move. I also really agree with this one. Habana losing the claymore and receiving a breaching charge. I like it. Um, more people will just play the stuns. I don't think they'll actually take the breaching charge. They might, but I, I'm pretty sure it'll take the, the stuns. She has picked too often in pro and ranked. This is because she brings crucial utility to the attacker. She is better at gunfights than thermite. She is. Thermite's gun is good, though. I've been running a lot of thermite lately. Anyways, it's better than thermite. Um, but we want to adjust her ability before touching her weapons. Thermite will be the only hard breacher with a claymore. Yeah, don't take his claymore away because... That's the only thing he has going for him at the moment. And we expected to swap. Um, and we expected to swap will rebalance their popularity. I believe that. It is hard to say whether Thermite will go up. I feel like he will. Because that Claymore can. And Claymores can still get kills for you when you're dead. Like that's the beauty of a Claymore. Like a well-placed Claymore in a rotation. If you die, you can still help out your team. So that Claymore right here on Thermite is, might change. It's going to make you think. It's going to make you think, do I want Habana or do I want Thermite? Habana, I can have freaking Breach Charges or Thermite, I can have a freaking Claymore. And I can open up a bigger hole. So that's going to be a, that's, I, I, that's a really good move. Um, we are swapping out Ying Smoke Grenades for Claymore. I really love that. I love it. It's about time they did that. It's gonna force um that Ying glass meta. It's 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 gonna force someone else to take smokes. So I really like that. Um, not gonna spend too much time about that. I just it's an over overall good move. LMG damage globally. LMGs are too weak right now. We made a pass. Uh, we made a pass on their damage to normalize it against their general low fire rate. We will also receive or uh, review their recoil once we have improved implemented a new recoil system so i'm sorry guys so how do i feel about this i like it um honestly i feel like no one runs lmgs i mean of course ying because did it out or a shotgun but you have a choice when you have finca you have a choice when you have capital you have a choice when you run fuse so and no one ever really picks the LMGs. You know why? Because the damage sucks. Like, no one chooses a freaking LMG because the damage is trash. So it's gonna it's gonna give you an option. I mean, are people gonna like the option? I mean, from this jump, I think people are gonna love the option of the LMG. Look at this. Nine freaking points. The pressed stays the same. Heavy barrel damage, it goes up three. But normal, like, oh my God, that's, that's, that's uh, hard to say if I think that's a little too much. I don't know. Um, look at this. Ying is going to be such a powerful operator for the fact that they gave her a Claymore plus they upped the damage of her gun by 
freaking nine points suppressed is eight points and heavy barrels four like dramatic changes across ling ying 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 like ying i suspect to be one of the highest pick rates in pro league now like it's freaking ridiculous her candelas are freaking amazing as it is i i ying watch out for ying um capitals that's huge that's 14 capital has the biggest buff 14 11 and 7 um i don't think it's going to change his pick rate that much yeah it's 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 a beast of an lmg but i don't know maybe maybe i don't know but ying watch out for ying i'm still i'm still shocked um fuse fuse is just fuse and finkas i mean it was it was pretty beast as it is so they didn't change it too much um current strats finca mm. indicates finca's win rate is too high right now we want to take some time to investigate why this is before we make any changes our focus will be to study the effects of her recoil reduction speed boost throughout barbed wire and health boost for the speed and health boost we will need more data to ensure that we are making the right adjustments for recoil we do not want to change it before the implement of the new recoil system doing so would result in clouded data and feedback um you never see finca on freaking pro league you never do you never see finca on pro league like i've been watching pro league and i've probably seen her like two or three times and it's just honestly it messes up pro players because that recoil boost they're so used to how much they need to drag their hand down to accommodate for the recoil that they're overcorrecting. So um that was a big issue and it was a big issue for pro league players. Um Ella Ella is currently in a be much better place to data in a case that she is an acceptable pick and win rate win rate. We do not foresee any more changes being necessary in the short term, but we will keep an eye on her. I agree with that. So um unique operator gadgets. Our team has learned a lot from the test servers and um, on blitz changes, one of the key takeaways being a clarification on priorities. Mm. Not too much. We have seen player, um, player feedback that the meta currently feels fast, feels faster than it has in the past. The average round length has gone from two minutes and 24 seconds to two minutes and 15 seconds. Because everyone's freaking rushing. Like, everyone's freaking rushing with Lion. You put Lion, Dokabi. Whoa. Lion, Dokabi, Ash. What else? I mean, those three alone are going to freaking rip you apart. Um, Jackal. And Blitz. You've lost. It's game over. Like that's the current meta right now. Like rush the heck out everybody. Pop a lion. Rush in the room. Force everybody to move. Give everyone position away. Wreck shop. Like that's what they're doing now. Um, we accept. We expect that the nerf to lion will have an impact on how the meta feels and the length of the rounds. It will. It will very much. Um, other than that, guys, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait. To, I'm. I'm. Re I. I can't get over Castle. I want them to do something more about Castle, but that currently didn't happen this midseason. Hopefully, in um, season two, something will happen, but um, not this season. But other than that, guys, um, this is my first video in a while. This is probably what I'm gonna be doing mostly on my channel. Um, I'm trying to really specialize on Rainbow Six, so you probably won't see a lot of anything else be honest when a big game comes out like when spider-man comes out i'll probably be playing that posting the gameplays streaming it but um i'm probably only going to be posting probably once a week on youtube and it's probably gonna be a tips and tricks videos for rainbow or a comedy video for rainbow or highlight videos from the stream all week but if y'all want to see more of the field master i encourage y'all to go over to twitch my link will be in the description below to my Twitch. Go follow me, please. I'm really trying to build an audience over there. I appreciate every single one of y'all that took the time and heard me out on my late rant about the mid-season notes. 
<laughs> but thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. Click the link below. Go to my um I just totally blinked out. Go to the Twitch, my Twitch um website and click the little heart in the corner. Follow me. Um show me some support. Thumbs up on this video if you thought it was informative of any way, even though it's about a day late. But other than that, guys, thank you for everything. And y'all have a good night.